Hey, I'm Jake, and for this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a Logic Pro X chord trick using the MIDI effects plugins. Just a little side note, uh, this video is borrowed from a guy named Stefan Guy, and I'm only adding a tiny add-on that I think might help with this technique. So, I have a I have an electronic piano here, and what Stefan Guy does is he tells you to click chord trigger, go over to your options, go to single, go to triads, click major, and now you have a triad, a major triad. But that doesn't stick to the scale, because it just plays plain triads in the major form. So the next thing he shows us what to do is click the transposer plugin, and make sure it's below the chord trigger plugin. Now, you have a scale option and a root option. In your scale option, pick the corresponding scale type that you want. We're going to pick natural minor and pick any root note that you want. And now when you play notes, it plays the major and minor chords correspondingly to fit with the scale. So that's what he does. And I'm going to record a quick chord progression showing you Stefan Guy's technique. So this is where his video ended, and when you click the MIDI region, it's just one note, but it's playing chords. So what we want to do is extract the single notes that we have from the MIDI effects plugins and just be able to copy and paste it into another instrument. So what we're going to do is click here again and use Audio CR MIDI effects freeze. Now this is not included in Logic Pro X, I will leave this in the description and I'll show you what it does. So right now, it's just playing one note in the piano roll, even though you're hearing chords. We want to extract those chords to paste it onto a new software instrument. So when you open this MIDI effects freeze, what you want to do is make sure, number one, it's at the very bottom of the MIDI effects chain, and just press this button and let it play through. Okay, so now you'll see that below the MIDI effects freeze typography over here, there's a MIDI file. You can drag that file out, and now you have the corresponding MIDI. So we're just going to make this four bars, we'll make another instrument, and you can layer this. So for example, we'll just get a pad. So this is a really great way to stay inspired when you're working on your sessions and you don't want to think too technically in terms of music theory. Uh, the other thing is you can always save this effects chain as a preset and you click the settings over here when you open up your mixer, click settings, save channel strip setting as and name it whatever you want. And when you make a new instrument and you press Y, which opens up the library, you'll have an option, user channel strip settings, and I've named mine Harmonizer Scratch. So when I open this again, and when I'm starting a new session, I have all the plugins, and I just click the Transposer plugin, choose whatever I want, choose whatever type of scale. and I'm ready to go. And by the time I come up with a simple chord progression, if I want to add on to it, I just open my MIDI effects plugin, press this white button. Once it's, once it's been played through, I drag the file out and you basically rinse and repeat. So anyhow, I hope this video helped and don't forget to subscribe to Stefan Guy's channel because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have really gone out of my way to find this little free plugin. Anyhow, take care.